Ladies and gentlemen, school is in session. Prepare yourselves for the school of Croc. Good morning, Crocodilies. Now, you may have noticed the cameraman Dan get, didn't give his, his like, full oomph to the school of Croc this morning, but that's because we're trying to be really quiet. Today, we're going to have a super exciting school of Croc. Cameraman Dan's going to give you guys some shout outs real quick. Here we go. We got shout outs to Declan, Evelyn, Dimfa, Haley and Spencer, Cameron, Grady from Mount Dora, Janae, Tristan, Gage and Reed, and Charlie from Apaka, Ethan and Amelia. Also a shout out to Penny Jane and Christine and Jacob in Delaware, Miss James's class of Andover, Hi. and happy seventh birthday, Emma. Head to the School of Croc Facebook group to see some cool crafts by James and a super cool School of Croc book created by James Ray and catch the world premiere of Kaylee's hit song, We Can Make Gatorland Come True for Mommy. <laughs> We've been singing it all day around here. Check out our School of Croc t-shirt models, Heidi, Arlie, Jeffrey, our buddy Kaylee, and her twin Riley. All right, good morning, you guys. So remember, now's not the time for shout outs. If you do want a shout out, Post your pictures, videos, arts and crafts, songs, anything you want to post like that in our School of Croc Facebook group, and we will share those tomorrow. We'll give you shout outs tomorrow. Today, I'm very excited to be here with Rachel. I'm a little bit nervous, but I am here with Rachel. She's going to tell you guys all about budgies. Whoa. Rachel is the budgie queen and she's wearing her budgie crown. Yes. Tell us about these budgies. So these budgies are in our aviary here at Gatorland. Uh, they are native to Australia. Um, they come down and they eat some seed sticks off of a wooden stick you get to have. You can come Ooh. in here and do this yourself. It's not quite as pretty as my crown um, because I am queen of the aviary, <laughs> but it's still pretty awesome. How did you get to be the queen of the aviary? Honestly, it came naturally. Um, and a lot of things are just kind of handed in my lap and that was one of those. So tell us about these birds. What are they? So they are small little birds. Uh, you've probably seen them. Some people have them as pets. Uh, you can see them in the pet store. They are very common here in America. Um, but it's really cool. The natural color that you would see in the wild is the green and the black. All these other really pretty uh, pastel, bright yellows, whites, blues are colors that are from um, captive breeding. So it's not a color you'd see in the wild. Now Isaiah is worried that they're gonna go to the bathroom on you. Um, it's good luck. So I'm fully prepared for that. Um, oh. Cause it makes me really lucky. Do you often wear a crown of budgies in the morning? Just so everyone knows that I'm the queen, yes I do. Oh my goodness. Wow, very neat. If anyone has any questions oh, about right these the birds, eye. We would love to hear them, so ask us your questions. How many live here, Logan wants to know. There's about 150 budgies in this aviary. Okay. Kevin has beauty <laughs> questions. He wants to know how you're keeping that crown on. Uh, my big head. You have a ginormous yes. head. And My that's ego what keeps really it. fills it out. Her ego keeps the hat on. Yes. That's great. So where are these guys normally found? Australia. Okay. Um, if you want to find them here, you can go to a pet store. All right, so they are available as pets. Are they good pets? They are good pets. Uh, they're a good starter bird. Um, they are good in pairs, though. So if you are looking to uh, purchase some birds, try and get them in pairs. Do, right. they, um, do they talk? They have been known to talk. I have never heard any of these budgies in here talk because there's just so many, and there's so many noises they hear throughout the day. But with one-on-one -on -one interactions and their owners, some of them do talk. Brooke wants to know how long they live, and Wanny wants to know what do they eat? They live five to ten years, uh, so quite a range, but five to ten years, and they eat grass seeds. Mm. Do they talk or sing like canaries? They are singing in my ear right now. They have nice little uh, tunes that they talk to each other with, and I can hear them. You're like the bird whisperer. Yeah. Here, let's get close and see if we can hear yeah. their song. Can you all hear that? Jacob wants to know what your crown is made of. It is made of seed sticks, um, vine, and fudgy grass seed. Oh, wow. I was trying to bring him close to the camera, cameraman Dan. So their, their native land is oh, where? Oh, guys are fighting. Australia. Australia. But do we find them here in the wild in Florida? Uh, once upon a time, they found them down in South Florida. Uh, they must have migrated here, but not, it's not the case anymore. But they don't belong here. They don't belong here, no. So this is kind of an invasive species here a little it bit. It is. They yeah. do okay here. 
uh, but it's not something you would normally find. And we, and when you have a pet like this, if you don't want it anymore, you should never let it go in the wild, right? Exactly, that is Tell correct. Tell us why. Because uh, you don't want to uh, release any non-native species into an environment. It upsets the ecosystem of other of the native species that you would find wherever you are. Um, it's just very disruptive to the ecosystem. And Jennifer wants to know why they come in different colors. Uh, those are from captive breeding. So what that means is someone has them as pets and they do a whole big breeding program and then there's different genetics, you know, all this science stuff and it creates different colors. Mm, wow. So that's because of the pet trade. Yes. Gotcha. Now, how, how old do they get to be? How long do they live? Rachel? Five to ten years. So some of these could have been here before I was here. Now, Jen wants to know, are they the same as parakeets? Are budgies and parakeets the same? Yes, budgies are a type of parakeet. Gotcha. If you look above you, actually, what's really cool is we have a whole bunch of plastic boards. Uh-huh. That's also how sometimes they have babies up in there. They do? So yeah. you have babies here at Gatorland? Yes, we have had some successful babies had oh. here, and they are now among us. And they really like shoes, it huh? It is their favorite thing to play with. Oh my goodness. We'll make them the, these really nice toys, and all they care about is the shoelace that's holding it together. Now Isaiah wants to know, how are they at flying? Can they fly high in the air? They do fly high in the air. That is actually what they do when they feel threatened or afraid. They'll go up, something scares them, they'll get off the ground because they do land on the ground a lot. But once they get scared, they fly up and they go. But do they flock? Are they flocking birds? They do. They are all, they travel together. Now, Brooke wants to know, how come some of them have blue noses? So, that's a very great question. That is how you tell the difference of gender. The blue noses are the males. The brown or the bright pink are the females. Oh my gosh, there's birds all over me. You can't see it. But let's do this. So we planned this for you guys. And since Rachel is the queen of the aviary, we're gonna do a really special, amazing thing for you guys. We're gonna cover Rachel in bird seed what? and let all the buzzies come down and get on top of Rachel on the ground. No way. Yeah, okay. so you gotta find a spot, Rachel. All right. I'll pop right here. I'll take now, when we're here in the aviary, we can't lift our feet up when we walk. We have to shuffle, kind of like moonwalking. There we go. She's very when carefully Rachel getting down, down the ground. The Whoa! That worked out. It's all right. Oh. All right, there we go. She's going right, to get comfortable. Rachel. And you guys, secretly, Rachel's wanted to do this her whole <laughs> life. Like, this is a lifetime dream coming true right now for Rachel because she does love the budgie so much. There we go. Okay. Ready? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> here they come. I'm trying to get them on your belly right here because it's falling off. You might have to spill it. Well, it seems like Barbara and Heather have reservations about doing something like this. <laughs> yeah, I would never do this either. Mason wants to know, is all they eat bird seed? Sometimes they will eat some of the produce. <laughs> but not very often. They prefer the grass seed. Mm. Oh, it looks cool from down here, all them flocking. <laughs> yeah. And again, how many birds do you have here? There you go, Rachel. About 150. Let's look over here at Rachel, the queen of the birds. Do they eat mice, Rachel? Mice? They yeah. Not. All right, so the birds look very unsure about this. They're wondering what's going on. Some of them are getting brave and coming over. You're assuming that Rachel hasn't done this before, but she probably does it all the time on her days off. Oh, there's one. Oh, here we go. They're stuck on the crown because they know I'm their queen. <laughs> they surrounding you. I think it's super weird too, whoever just said that. Oh. <laughs> oh, there they come. Went, oh, Whoa! Oh. Who scared them? Oh, we got one guy still left. Let's when see. When one does something, they all do it. So we need that brave one to. They're like copycats, huh? Yes. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty one. They said, are you scared, Rachel? Not at all. I'm extremely comfortable. <laughs> That's <laughs> so weird. Uh, do they ever get food out of the water? Um, not so much. These seeds are very uh, soft, so they're easily able to break them apart without water. 
whereas some birds will dunk their food in water to help soften it. Now, Candida um, wants to know if they have sharp claws. They're sharp for a budgie. Okay. If that makes sense. Very good. Well, you just relax over there. Okay. Wait, I want to see her sit up first. Wait, where's my versus? Oh, is there a pack leader, Rachel? Um, I want to see this one. All right. Let's see what happens when you sit up, Rachel. All right. No sudden movement. Wow! And they're all gone. That was amazing. Very cool. Rachel, thank you so much. Her Yay. whole life. It's, we make dreams come true here at Gatorland, even when the park's not open. So do us a favor. Post in the Facebook group, School of Croc Facebook group, all your pictures, leftover questions, dances, plays, books. Someone actually wrote a book about every crocodilian species, complete with a map, so that we know where every single alligator and crocodile comes from. That, that was, was James. Good job, James. James, that was amazing. And... Uh, We'll see you guys on our YouTube live today at 3 o'clock, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for more School of Crocs. See you tomorrow, same Croc time, same Croc channel.